we know that we can efficiently describe a subspace by a basis. But how can we find such a basis? As we have already seen, any span of some vectors is automatically a subspace. So the first question is, how can I find the basis if my subspace is given as a span of some vectors? In this video, we will answer this question and you will learn how to find the basis of subspace H if H is described as a span of some vectors. So here we have four vectors, V1, V2, V3 and V4. H is a span of those four vectors and the question is determine a basis for H. Well, we can take S1 to be the set consisting of V1, V2, V3, V4. This S1 is a set, so that is okay. S1 it spans H by definition because H is a span of V1 up to V4, so that's okay as well. But then a base is an independent set that spans H because it's minimal. You try to span H as efficiently as possible. But then look for at V3 and V4. You see V4 equals minus V3 or vice versa. So V3 and V4 are multiples of each other. So they are definitely not independent. So you can see straight away that this V4 should not be in a basis because it's dependent on V3. Or you can kick out V3 if you like and keep V4. So you can keep only one of the two at this stage. So you need to know for sure that either V3 or V3 4 should not be in the basis. But is the resulting set independent? Well, that is not so clear whether this set V1, V2, V3 is independent. Fortunately, we know how to check this. The set S2 is independent. If the only solution of the equation C1, V1 plus C2, V2 plus C3, V3 equals zero, is the zero solution, is a trivial solution. So we just can try to figure out what happens if we try to find a solution of this linear system. You know, have a vector equation, we can turn that into a linear system, make the augmented matrix, and we try to find uh, the solution. So let's do some row reduction over here. Plus one over here to get a zero, minus two to get a zero over there, and plus two to get a zero over there. So we keep the first row, it's the same. Plus one, zero, three, minus six, okay? Minus two, zero, minus one, plus two, okay? And the last one, zero, 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 a row of all zeros. Okay, continue with the row reduction. We can add this row three times over here and subtract it two times over there. Then we get zero, zero, zero. The second row yields only zeros. And here we get a zero and a uh, plus three, one, zero, three. So we have this augmented matrix over here. And then, okay, interchange. Second and the third row. Well, we're almost in a shown form, but just leave it over here. And then we see that we have now, uh, well, okay, four equations, but two rows of zero. So only two equations left, three unknowns, so we can choose one of them free. For example, C3 can be chosen free, and uh, uh, C1 and C2 can be expressed in terms of C3, which means that we can express V3 as a linear combination of V1 and V2, which means that V3 is dependent on V1 and V2, which means that it should not be in a basis. So a basis would be the set consisting of V1 and V2, because V1 and V2 are independent, they are not the multiple of each other, so you can see straight away that they are independent. Or you could choose also another basis if you like, because you can choose any independent set that spans H. You could also express uh, V2 as in a combination of V1 and V3, so kick V2 out. So another option would be a basis to be the set consisting of V1 and V3, for example. So that's how you find the basis if you have uh, H given as a span. You have to figure out first which of the vectors are independent and only 
those factors, they are in the basis for H.